टीम फोर्ज वी टीम फोर्ज कंसिस्ट ऑफ देवलीना चक्रवर्ती रंजित बेहरा दिवान साहू आकांक्षा साहू रविकांत कुमार अश्लेषा शुक्ला एंड अदिति रे एंड टुडे वी विल बी पिक्चराइजिंग वेरियस काइंड ऑफ मशीन देयर मैकेनिज्म एंड द मैकेनिक्स बिहाइंड देम इन्वॉल्व इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ फोर्जिंग सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द मैकेनिकल फोर्जिंग प्रोसेस The mechanical forging presses incorporate a ram that moves in the vertical direction to exert a squeezing action on the work workpiece. These presses can perform all the functions as the traditional hammering forging method, and can also forge some alloys of moderate ductility, as these alloys may shatter under the fast impact of the hammer die in the hammer forging method. these machines are driven by the motor and are controlled by an air clutch they are very best suited for low profile forging and usually consist of knockout pins which automatically eject the forged product from the die hence allowing both the die and the forging to be designed with less trap alloys which in turn reduces the weight and further the machining So next, I will like to invite Aslesha to carry forward the session. Thank you, Leblina. So the next one is hydraulic forging presses. Hydraulic forging presses are not commonly used for conventional hot forging due to the extremely slow ramp speed and high die contact time. They are, however, used extremely in open die forging um, applications and also for very large tonnage applications, primarily to forge materials other than steel. These machines are ideal for isothermal forging applications because of higher slow fusing operation. The large largest of these machines is rated at fifty thousand tons. With a die or die area of 50 feet by 32 feet, generally a water hydraulic system is used to drive these machines. Die contact time of the various types of equipment is of interest interest to the forger. For the longer the contact time, the lower die life life tends to be. This is due to the both uh, both of the loss of heat. in the work piece and the possible elevation of the die temperature above its design specification the contact times vary vary for the amount of deformation in particular forging operation the heavier the deformation the longer the contact time next over to the aditi so now we are going to discuss about screw press The screw press uses a friction gear, electric or hydraulic drive to accelerate the flywheel and screw assembly to convert angular kinetic energy to a linear energy available in the ram. In friction drive machine, vertical mounted drive wheel are rotated rotated continuously. To make a downstroke, the drive wheel are shifted to enable one wheel to engage the main flywheel. and accelerate the ram down when the energy is completely used up to a stroke is met the fly will screw and ram come to a stop the drive wheel are then shifted to allow the fly will to reserve and return the ram to the top in direct electric drive machine a reversible electric motor is built directly onto the screw and frame this design uses a screw which does not move vertically but is threaded into a ram not assembly as with the friction drive machine the flywheel must come to a complete stop and all energy used in order to reserve the ram back on the top a variation of the drive uses a gear drive and slip clutch flywheel assembly in which the drive gear and screw are protected from the overloading by the slip clutch the design is used in large capacity machine both electric and hydraulic drive motor can be used the large screw press is operation 
hundred tons nominal rating are based on the design. The total energy available in the screw press is determined by how much kinetic energy is input to the flywheel by the driven system. It is possible to control the force of each blow by the control to speed of the flywheel. This can accomplish a disengaging the drive from a flywheel and predetermine times of limit flywheel, RPM and thus ramp speed. Now I would like uh, Akanksha to carry forward. Thank you, Aditi. So now new design technology allows not only the force of each blow to be controlled, but also the stroke distance of the ramp. The hydraulic clutch drive screw press design used, used in the machines in our Lebanon facility allows the operator to program individual blow control settings for both stroke and force. This feature means that no more energy than necessary is used to make a part and also lets perform pancake shape to be made to consistent thickness. This design also allows the press to be cycled faster than conventional friction or direct drive machines. The flywheel is disengaged from the screw and ram assembly hydraulically prior to completion of the stroke and continues to rotate. The ram is then returned to the top position by auxiliary hydraulic cylinders, not by the main drive system. Because the flywheel can then be brought back to speed quickly. The press has its maximum energy and force available very shortly after the downstroke begins. These features plus the ability of, the, of using knockout or lift out pins to remove forgings from the dies allows the screw press to take advantage of some most uh, desirable traits of both hammers and mechanical presses. These include low die contact time, consistent and repeatable blow force, reduced draft angles to limit waste material and easier die settings. Now over to Ranjit. Thank you, Akansha. Now, offsetter. Offset forging, sometimes called heading, is performed on a horizontal forging machine called an offset. It is essential a process for enlarging and reshaping certain sections of a bar or tube. In its simplest form, Hot offset forging is accomplished by holding the heated stock between two half dies and applying pressure to the end of the stock in the direction of its axis with a heading tool which offsets the end by metal displacement. Nowadays, machining, machined and tooling permit the use of multiple passes accurately and economically. The process is now widely used for producing sharp type parts. Ranging is complicity from simple headed bolts to frangled shafts, cluster gears and wrench sockets that require simultaneous offsetting and pricing. Forging requires requiring center of or offset deformation may also be produced. Thank you all. And I request Rabbi Khan to continue about the forging press. Thank you, Ranjit. Hot setting may be used to form or prepare shock for another forging machine, such as hammer or press, or as finishing operation following forging, such as upsetting a flank on the end of crankshaft. In addition to upsetting, the heading tools are used for trimming, extrusion and bending. In the upset forging process, the working stock is confined in the die cavities and the heading action creates the pressure required to fill all the die impression completely. Since the dies are split, a wide variety of shapes can be forged and easily removed from the tooling, which is primarily composed of three die elements, two grippers and cavity dies. One is stationary and another one is fastened to moving die slides and the punch which fastened to header slides are uh, ram. Thank you. Now next to Deblina.
okay so <clears throat> this is my part actually so this one is the mechanics of pneumatic forging machine which is in our we are using in our course project means now considering so okay uh, mechanics of pneumatic forging machine in this machine we have using we are using a pneumatic cylinder for forging the specimen pneumatic is air operated device here you can see all the here you can see the video okay so by doing the manual process it consumes much more time and large amount of manpower required for forging by using this machine we can save the time and manpower requirement in the industry here we have a fixed pneumatic cylinder on the column of the machine which is fixed on the base table the forging hammers are fixed at the end of the <clears throat> at the end of the pneumatic cylinder piston rod the pneumatic cylinder the pneumatic cylinder is operated uh, through the man, uh, pneumatic energy that is air the air stored in the compressor and is compressed air is passed to the pneumatic cylinder with the help of the solenoid valve the solenoid valve are operated through the control unit the air enters on part one in the pneumatic cylinder to move the forging hammer in downward direction after the forging operation takes place after the forging operation takes place the forging hammer will moves in upward direction then while the hammer moves in the upward direction the part one will release the air uh, and will be forced onto the port number two the uh, two directions are controlled by the control unit during the movement of the forging hammer forced the uh, the forced specimen to make it to the required shape and size after the required number of strokes completed then the forging process is stopped with the help of again the control unit so this is the working procedure and mechanics of pneumatic forging machine which we are considering in our course project so thank you all for our presentation